right, guys, something's going on with my, with my GoPro. I think it's this extreme cold we're dealing with. Um, I tried to get it going. I didn't even have time to get my big camera turned on. I had three does come uh, come running down the hill at me, wide open. Well, they came in from behind me, and I wasn't expecting anything to drop off that hill right there like that. I was expecting them to come out either from over here or from over this way. Well, I, all these deer came booking it down this hill behind me. I don't know if the dogs up there spooked them or what was going on because I heard a, one of the bigger dogs up there barking earlier. It sounded like he was running something, but they came flying down the hill right at me and they stopped about right here. Um, they came in so fast they scared me and I turned to look and they seen me as soon as I turned my head and they stopped and one of them bolted like immediately so I grabbed my gun real quick and I got a I had a decent shot on one up the hill probably about 80 yards she stopped in between two trees and I took a shot I'm pretty sure I got her hi right, guys my camera has not been cooperating all day um I was starting to think I missed this deer like I said they came in way down the hill behind me or they came in from way up the hill behind me and they came running down at me and scared me well when I turned around they spotted me and spooked one of them booked it or two of them booked it one of them hung around but I didn't have the greatest shot so I waited for her to step around and I took a the only shot I had and she ran, I don't know, she's probably 100 yards from where I shot her. But I was starting to think, because I couldn't find any blood, but I wasn't 100% sure from where I was at exactly which, I knew which general direction she ran. But I come up through here and I couldn't find any blood anywhere. I was starting to panic, but I finally got her. Another doe, it'll be the last one for this year for this season I'm on private right now um, <laughs> I've got to drag this deer about a hundred yards back down the hill to where my stuff's at and probably half mile maybe back to the truck I'm not exactly sure it's not gonna be fun though hey guys we're putting the old the new Amstel uh, deer drag that I made to work test it out I'm sure it'll work fine just like my other one that I had that I've used a hundred times but I'm telling y'all I couldn't have asked for a better deer season well I mean I could this has been my best and my worst season all at the same time I managed to shoot more deer than I ever have this year but They've all been does. <laughs> I got one buck, and it was that one on that uh that WMA quota hunt, and um, never really got a real big one this year, but that's okay. They'll be there. They'll be around next year. I just gotta just open my eyes a lot. I re I relied real heavy on a couple of areas that I've had a lot of luck in the last couple of years, and this year they just were not producing and so I scrambled around half the season you know moved around trying to find a, a new place to go and like I said I've still I've done real good as far as putting meat in the freezer this year I've shot more deer than I ever have but some of them have been smaller does you know there wasn't any real real huge ones I don't guess I had a couple that were real good sized does but the rest of them were just kind of smaller smaller does but I just had trouble this year getting on the the big deer but 
we've learned from uh, our mistakes, hopefully. And next year will be a better year. Um, this will be my last, last deer video for the season. Probably start uh, getting on the, the gear videos again real hot and heavy. Anyways, I hope everybody else's season's been good. Uh, thanks, I'll catch you in the next one.